So welcome everyone to Wheel Decide Wednesday. This is a special feature of the Do Better podcast. Uh, Joe, you want to tell everyone what we're doing? All right. This time for Wheel Decide Wednesday, we are going to spin a wheel. On this wheel, there are tons of topics that we know what they are, but there is nothing that we prepared. I mean, we didn't prepare for this at all. So once it lands on a topic, we had to talk two, two minutes and 30 minutes on that topic. So and w Megan and I will both take turns on the topic. And after that, we'll wrap it up. But this is a very exciting and fun um, segment of the Do Better podcast. So Megan, are you ready to spin that wheel? I am ready. I did want to say hi real quick. Leslie and Eric joined us. So hi. Thanks for joining us. And I also wanted to mention, we do have a couple of topics on here that were uh, contributed to us by viewers, our Facebook live viewers. So thank you for that. If your topic is chosen, you will receive some do better swag in the mail. So Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. And if you have any ideas for topics, feel free to drop them in the comments or shoot them our way via email or whatever other way you want to get in touch with us. All right. So the Stu Batter shout out just really likes to come up a lot, doesn't it? It does. So we did have this one about, I guess it's like three or four weeks ago now. So do you think it's time to do another one or should we do the one below it? I think we should do the one below it. Okay. Um, so the one below it is what are you going to miss most about your plans for 2020? This was actually one that came up <laughs> when we were recording our podcast this past weekend. So um, so we'll talk about like things we had planned for 2020 that we're realizing just aren't going to happen. Um, and we're, we're going to be sad about that. Um, so Joe, do you want to talk about that first or do you want me to? Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, okay. Let me set the timer for two minutes and 30 seconds. And the time starts right now. So 2020 has been an eventful year so far, and it's only July. We're only tw like six months in, seven months in. Um, so I, I will already miss a few things about 2020 though. One of the things I will miss about 2020 is the number of TikToks that I can sit down and watch over and over and just, uh, just, sit there in pure enjoyment and watch and not have to worry about work at all. Um, and then I even started making my own TikToks and they are hilarious, <laughs> um, I think. Um, but I think another thing that I will miss about 2020 is my ability to catch up on Netflix shows faster than where I was um, so then I can compete with my wife because my wife and I will choose a show. Like, so our last show that we picked that to watch together was the last kingdom. We watched the first episode. And then after that, the next day, my wife comes home and is like, Hey, did you watch any more episodes of last kingdom? I was like, yeah, I watched uh, episode uh, two and three. My wife watches the first the first season completely i'm like are you kidding me she's like you need to catch up i was like i can't do what you do like i don't understand how you can watch all these episodes um and so quickly so let's just say it took me one one time uh the one show i had was once upon a time love that show it took her maybe two weeks to complete the entire seven seasons. <laughs> it took me about six months to complete seven seasons. So I will miss my free time for Netflix um, in 2020 and watching all the TikToks that are produced in 2020. Because I'm sure once uh, we get a handle on this, um, there is definitely going to be a lot less people interacting with TikTok. All right, <laughs> and that's my time. All right. 
Um, okay, so I interpreted this completely different. So you'll get to see like how the differences and we go through on this. I am going to talk about what I'm going to miss, like what things did I have planned in 2020 okay. that I'm not going to get to do. So um, I've set my timer and we had a few people join us. So hello, everyone. Okay, so things that I had planned in 2020. Some stuff already happened. Like I definitely, it was a bummer not to go to the DC area for ABAI in May, um, mostly because I, that's a time to see a lot of my friends in the field, but also we were going to see my husband's um, family and we haven't seen them in a while. So I already missed that. The things that are coming up though, that like, I really thought when we like went into lockdown in March that, you know, by the time July hit, we'd be good, right? Like these things would still happen. I held out on canceling the flights and things like that. So one of them was, um, I was supposed to be in Spokane um, this past weekend doing a training for SOAR behavioral services. And we obviously didn't do that. And then I was supposed to head to British Columbia to see a client there and spend a few days with them and take in the, just the, that beautiful scenery. And um, this, it's helped, like we do great work over remote services, but there's just a difference in like being there in person. So um, it's difficult that that didn't happen. And I know that we're making progress, but we could probably make more if I could be there in person. And then after that, I was supposed to end the trip with a concert in San Diego <laughs> to see Weezer and Green Day. So this whole like week basically is a lot of the stuff I'm going to miss from 2020. Um, on top of that, we were supposed to go to Bali and, um, that was going to be for our 10 year anniversary. And then that was going to be in August and September, of course, Faba's 40th anniversary in Orlando. Um, and then October, I was going to go up to Columbus and go take my son to his first Buckeyes game. And we were going to, uh, I had to present at a conference in Indiana. Um, and then in uh, November, we were supposed to go to the Ohio State Michigan game. And I don't think that's going to happen either. I'm still fingers crossed <laughs> on that one, but I'm still hoping I can go to that one. Um, the, the one thing I will say though, is I'm trying to figure out ways, like all those things I just listed off that I'm missing. I'm trying to like reframe it and stop focusing yeah. on like, man, this stinks. And instead focus on, so like on Friday, if I have enough energy, I'm thinking about getting my projector out. And like streaming some of my favorite Weezer songs live and just pretending yes. like I'm at a Weezer nice. concert. Nice. And then in August, we're going to um, a house in Cape Sandblast that we're selling. And I'll try to like pull in some Bali type things. <laughs> so I'm trying to get creative <laughs> and like, okay, I should have been doing this. But instead, this is how I'll, I'll pretend. So that's my time. Um, my mom said she lost sound. I don't, you can obviously still hear me, Joe. I don't know. Hopefully you everyone. Did, you did lose sound there for a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hopefully it you, wasn't a whole minute. No, it wasn't a whole minute. It was like more like 10 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry. Well, I don't know what I was saying when that happened, but sorry. You just missed out on some of my plans. <laughs> but, um, well, so anyone who's watching, feel free to let us know, like, what are some things that you'll either miss, like Joe was saying, doing, or that you had plans for and you won't get to do them. But, you know, keep us motivated and optimistic and positive and talk about like what your reframe is on that and how to make it a, a better experience even though you won't get to do it <laughs> <laughs> and uh if you have any more suggestions for our do better uh podcast we'll decide wednesday we'll let us know email us uh instagram us follow us just drop it down below in the comments anything because we love participation and we love to uh, talk about your topics. And I just dropped our Instagram handle in the comments because we just changed it recently. So it's at do.better.pod. So hopefully yeah. you'll follow us there and we look forward to seeing you all again next week. I, we're going to not ch chat this time because Joe has to get somewhere. <laughs> so bye everyone. Have a good bye. week.